this is how to do a battery change on a APC Smart UPS 750. So it takes two batteries, which are these NP7-12s, uh, about £26 each um, off the bay. Interesting to note, uh, when you've ordered the battery and it comes in, have a look at the date on here, the date stamp. Um, as you can see, uh, this is back in 2018, this one was made, but um, some uh, sellers will hold old stock and it's probably not going to last as long as um, something that's made more recent. So, looking at the UPS, all you need to do is pull this front off. And there's a ribbon cable, so just pop that on top like that. And then, so it's here basically, you've got these two poppers, pull them out, down. You just want to get it flat really like that without bending the metal. And then inside you've got the batteries. So all you need to do then is pull these out. Um, can be a bit fiddly if it hasn't got a pull cord. So there's a connector at the back and there's also these smaller wires connecting the two batteries together. So there we go. So you can see that's the connector that connects at the back and then we've got these at the front so when you change these batteries the idea is that you change them in pairs I didn't do it um, I changed one which was this one so I changed that at the end of March last year but left the original battery which is the 5th of November 2013 in the pack as it were so um, recently this has just been not holding very well at all so yeah what I've done is just bought a, a newer battery but yeah if you do have one going just um, replace both of them it's probably the best idea anyway so looking at the connectors you've got the positive and negative connected um, and then we've got the negative there and the plus going on this connector that goes on the back so it's pretty easy stuff Pair of scissors needed. So let's have a look. We want to cut this like that and take that one off. Disconnect that one. Pull this off. And then just that these connectors the protectors take these off and put them on the old one because there's still a risk I mean this has got a charge in it and there's a risk if you drop something metal like scissors or screwdrivers on on those connectors you sort of make up a sort of mini welder so putting these protectors on and then these connectors just push back on just make sure they're not loose at all and that the plastic is over the connector that one don't know what's going on here it's corroded a bit can't do it with that one unfortunately all right <clears throat> tape the pack back up we're getting them lined up So that's taped back up, again, put the date on the battery so you at least know a little bit of history of what's going on with it, um, 22nd, 1st, 19th, and also I write it on the top, the date of the battery change. And then we need to open this back up it's actually come off 
you see in there's the connector um, so we slide the battery pack back in uh, push the connector back on be a bit fiddly this in, it goes back in, like so, push it up, push these buttons in, that's it, and then the front back on, and that's it. All you've got to do now is put this back on charge and make sure that the uh, charge indicator is fully at the top. And then you can obviously probably worth giving it a test just to make sure that new battery you got is fine and working okay right that's it thanks for watching don't forget to rate subscribe and if you've got any questions ask away